Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling pockets with crypto profits. And Bitcoin is down, 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 down. And what mood are you in about it? And what does that portend for the future price? Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN find the best cryptocurrency investments check out token metrics use my affiliate link for a discount hey amir thank you so much for making yourself available and we started off because uh, i asked you how you felt you're like mm -hmm. <laughs> do you want to say something about that i don't know what to say right now <laughs> all starting with luna and just slowly slowly trying to figure out a way to rebuild but i did say that i, I hope btc stays down for, for a while because it gives you know the people who've gotten hit hard like me time to regroup and, yep. and figure it out Yep, yep. And for those who, if you're watching, uh, what you need to know, Amir is an experienced bond trader. He looks at candles and can see things and stuff that I can't see. Uh, and we do these videos weekly where we look at uh, Bitcoin and other cryptos, some technical and fundamental analysis. So please do subscribe, comment, like, all that business. Please share my videos. And you know, you said about how to build your portfolio. We recorded something last week, which I'm actually going to post as a separate video this week about how to rebuild if you've had lunar losses. And it is kind of simple. It isn't guaranteed, but it's but it can work. It has worked for me. And uh, that's using the Osmo decks and staking the airdrops and stuff. Okay, so what we have here is the fear and greed index. So Amir says to me, oh, I hope the bear market, if we are in a bear market, I hope Bitcoin stays down because it gives us time to accumulate. And I think, no, 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 my wife wants to cash in and she wants the mortgage paid. But now is the time to buy because there's blood on the streets. And we're just looking at the fear and greed index, which measures the, the mood. Um, and we are in extreme fear. And this is when people, because what the candles all measure is people's moods. It measures fear and greed. And now is the time to accumulate. So let's have a look at the Bitcoin price. And this is Bitcoin on the weekly. Let me see if I can get us out of the way a little bit. So this is Bitcoin on the weekly chart. And, and Carl did a short video today, Carl the Moon. We do recommend you watch his technical analysis. It's brilliant. But he noted we've got eight weeks, eight yeah. candles in a row. And he said that's never happened in Bitcoin's history ever. And one of the things he said in the video is that, well, it just makes it more likely we're going to have a green week. Except I would counter, well, the trend is your friend and the trend keeps going down. <laughs> There's a video interview of Harry Dent recently talking about Bitcoin and the markets in general. And he talks about how even within a bear market context, you can have rallies, which we know that. But I do expect a rally now, you know, eight weeks down like this. But um, if he's right, I mean, what he was saying is Bitcoin's going to 3,000. Like, no. yeah, no. It's, it's crazy. But I mean, what can I say? Like, I, I really can't see that happening either. Yep. But, and, and he's, you know, he's really uh, well known, well respected. Okay. I can't get 3,000 at all. At all here. Yeah. It was 3,200 in December 2018, I remember. Yeah, I remember 3, that as well. 000, we would probably have, you know, Bitcoin's never gone down below the previous all time high from one bull cycle to another. So yeah. we, we have, we've got, so we've got a lot of support here. And then here, when it, when it came up to near 20,000 in August, so last year, they, you know, it stayed around there for a few weeks at a time before finally breaking through. But here, here also, I mean, we've got the 200-week EMA, and Bitcoin's never gone. It's never below. stayed below that, right? Yeah. Like, down here for a week or so, a couple yeah. of weeks uh, late in 2020. And then here in 2019, 2018, 2019, it was below that for several weeks, but not significantly below. Yeah. So I don't get it. And the thing, I used to listen to Harry Dent a lot, and he goes a lot of, on a lot about energy. And I think he also used to say, I don't know if he still says, but he says that gold is going to go to zero as well, or something yeah. really, really low. So I don't know. But then there's all, you know, there's all these sorts of pundits, including yeah. you and I, including you and I, saying it's going to do this, it's going to do that. So just a reminder to everybody, a couple of things. One is do your own research and don't invest any more than you can afford to lose. You know, yeah. because I think the price is going to go a certain way. It doesn't mean it is. And same, same way with Amir or Harry Dent, you've got to work it out for yourself. But I see the, the support. I mean, it still hasn't broken below 28,000, really. I think 28,800 or something, it's not close below that. And uh, there's resistance here at 32,000, I can see, which shows up on the daily as well, but on the weekly. So you've got floor here and um, resistance here, which is just at 32,000. So that would be the next target, I think, in the short term for it to break through. Anything you want to say if I, if I look at the daily? Anything no, you know, on the daily, I, I, that's the resistance at 32. And, and if we break above it, then it's, you know, like 35. Um, I, but I, I can't see it going above 35, 36, really. I think selling would come back at that price. Right, right. So we just go through this. And then what we've got is this sort of pennant right yeah. now, which is a continuation pattern, which would be bearish that we break to the downside. I don't think we stay there long. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think we would stay there long either. Yeah. Can... No, but but the, in terms of bearish fundamentals, we've got a lot of volatility in the market. We've got rising interest rates. So, you know, people want to, not people, but agencies, actors, large whales, they want to liquidate their, their Bitcoin to get dollars. You know, right. Let payments. Okay. Now, this one is Pirate Chain. Sorry, anything you want to say? Anything else you want to say about this? No. Okay. No. Well, let's have a look at Pyrochain. We haven't looked at Pyrochain for a while. And Pyrochain is a little bit interesting. There's another similar cryptocurrency altcoin we're going to have a look at, which has done very, very well. And what we've got is it's still below the 1500 and the 200 EMAs, but it has been going up last three days or so. And this is on the Bitcoin chart. Let's look at the USD. Not so good on the USD. Not much happening there. Still going down. Still going down. Anything you want to say? Well, that's it. I mean, it looks like it's at support and potential double bottom there. So, yeah. And actually, there's quite a bit of support because it was here as well. Yeah. Like February this year. So, okay. So that may support it for a while. And hopefully, it'll bounce up. But now might be a good time to pick up some Pyrochain. This one is Ethereum. <laughs> really, <laughs> it's not good. Although there is a lot of support around here, about just above two thousand, keeps bouncing off above two thousand. It's all the charts are the same, really. You know, they're, they're going to show the same. They're at that support level, basically. Yeah, yeah. This one is different. Okay. This is Monero on the daily. Yeah. But this one is different because it's just nudging the fifty EMA. If we get a break above that, a close above that for the daily, that's pretty good. Yeah. They're, they're tightening here. Volume's going down, so there's likely to be a breakout. Anything you can see here? I mean, what you want to see there is consolidation at that level. You know, where it doesn't just peak and start. Coming back down, you want to see it hold those like 180 level. 
right here, right about here, I want to see it consolidate. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just wanted to go up and up and up and go to the moon straight away. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but it doesn't work like that. All right. And then this from Plan B, this is a tweet from Plan B. Let's hide you and me. And he came up with this Dr. Flow model. And he says the original 2019 55K Dr. Flow model seems to fit better than the later 100K update. A refit based on 18 month average stock to flow ratio and three years new data confirms the original model. The bad news, 100K was probably too high. The good news model still points to 500K after the 2024 halving. So this, um, this measures the amount of money moving into Bitcoin as a ratio against the amount of new Bitcoins being created. So I hope I understand that correctly, uh, Amir. Yeah. It looks like we're in that period between uh, peaks. Yeah. Although we had, it didn't really peak above this line here. Yeah. The emission rate here it did, which was uh, 2017, 20, 2017. Here it did the previous bull run. But we've not peaked above this gray line. I hope we do, but I hope it takes time. Yeah, yeah, it will take time. And also, we are in incredible volatility right now in the world. Lots and lots of um, news happening that's going to affect Bitcoin, including this news, which is uh, from today's Zero Hedge. Christine Lagarde, European Central Bank President, calls for a crypto crackdown because they're based on nothing. They lack underlying assets as an anchor to safety while calling them for them to be regulated. Now, I don't know if she's talking about fiat money, which lacks underlying asset as an anchor to safety. But I was saying to you, Amir, um, she makes it very, very easy for me to work out where to locate myself, just like Tony Blair. If Tony Blair says, this is a good thing, I'm over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here. It makes it really, really easy. If he says a war in Iraq is a good thing, I'm over here. If he says injections are good for you, I'm over here. If he says vaccine passes, which he does, right? Vaccine passes and biometric IDs, they're a good thing, I'm over here. Yeah, seriously. Almost true for all politicians. Yeah, well, there's, there's some that I suppose that are um, the, the unpopular ones, the, un, the ones that are unpopular as far as the media are concerned, like Victor Orban and Donald Trump and Jeremy Corbyn, right? <laughs> okay, I mean, anything you want, anything? Oh, oh, I want to give a quick update about Osmo, about Osmo, 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 because I did say last week that you can now uh, accumulate ETH because they have rat teeth on the, on the pool. Where is it? Where is it here? On the pools, they now have rat Bitcoin. And currently, here it is, Axel wrapped Bitcoin. So it's only, uh, you've got to pull it over from uh, Axelar, your wrapped Bitcoin, and it's paying 453.73%. Now you won't get extra, you won't get Bitcoin as an external reward. You'll get extra Osmo, which you could use to buy and sell wrapped Bitcoin on Osmo decks. But also you're, but you will accumulate Bitcoin slowly over time by just keeping it in the pool because you'll get the swap rewards. And there's the ETH with 232%. Yeah. Anything you want to say or ask about Osmo? No, I, I hope that people pick up on the whole airdrop thing on the, on the blockchain, on the Adam blockchain. And um, I'm going to start doing that. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, listen, Amir, thank you so much. I do cover many of the Osmo projects, Cosmos projects, and including some of the airdrops. So please subscribe, comment, like, and between now and I see you next. Please keep in your pockets with crypto profits. It's crypto rich and crypto Amir signing out. And Amir, thank you so much for doing this with me. All the best. Bye-bye. Ready to hop in the six bull and cruise around the blocks. There's a storm coming to the underworld and the heat is on. Take over the blocks and call the shots. It's time to hustle or get hustled. What's it going to be? Stay sharp. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Don't let them catch you slipping. Only real gangsters thrive in the dope wars world.